Howard Gardner's theories of multiple intelligence. Gardner says intelligence is the ability to solve problems or create products which are of value within a cultural setting. Intelligence essentially is problem solving. Now instead of a single entity, intelligence, with many facets, Gardner has identified eight types of thinking. Linguistic intelligence is the ability to use words to describe or communicate ideas. Examples are poets and writers, public speakers, journalists, editors. Professors all need this type of thinking to be successful. Logical, mathematical intelligence, the ability to perceive patterns in numbers or reasoning to use numbers effectively or to reason well. This type of thinking is valued, of course, by mathematicians and scientists, but also by computer programmers, scientists, statisticians, or detectives. Right? Logical, mathematical, if-then type of thinking. Spatial intelligence is the ability to perceive the visual spatial world accurately and not get lost, or to transform it. An example would be an interior decorator, an architect, an artist, a sculptor, or even a guide, someone who does not get lost, a good sense of spatial intelligence where things fall and are. Bodily, kinesthetic intelligence, expertise in using one's body. This would be an actor, an athlete, a mime, or a dancer. Musical intelligence, the ability to recognize and produce rhythm, pitch, timbre, to express musical forms and to use music to express an idea. Examples would be a composer, a director, a performer, or a musical technician. In third personal intelligence between people, the ability to perceive and appropriately respond to the moods and temperaments of others, to motivate others, and to understand the needs of others, to, to work with people to reach a shared goal. In personal intelligence, people that get along with others. The types of uh, 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 professions in which this type of thinking is valued would be a counselor, a pastor, a teacher, a manager, coach, or a parent. Intrapersonal intelligence is the ability to go inside within the person. All right? To access one's inner life, to discriminate one's emotions, intuitions, and perceptions, and to know one's strengths and limitations. Religious leaders are all types. Uh, uh, religious leaders are um, mystics, religious leaders, writers, philosophers, all use this type of thinking. And the last one, naturalistic intelligence, is the ability to recognize and classify living things out there as well as sensitivity to the features of the natural world. A scout, a guide, a farmer, and environmentalists all use this types of thinking. Now remember, Gardner says intelligence is the ability to solve problems. You need to let your students know that it's okay to be smart in different things and not in other things. It's okay to have strengths and weaknesses. We are all good at some and not good at others. You should have a poster like this in your classroom so they know that. You might also have them come up with other ways to be smart. Baseball smart, soccer smart, uh, tinker toys smart, uh, fixing the bike smart. As well, design learning experiences that use these different ways of thinking as post-reading or post-lesson activities and assignments. In this way, students are looking at things from different points of view, and they are manipulating the content at a variety of levels, and hence, says uh, researchers in the area of learning, they will learn deeper. Intelligence is the ability to solve problems. What type of intelligence did you use in the past two weeks? Think about the real-life problems you encountered. Think about the kinds of thinking you needed to solve that problem. And again, intelligence is the ability to solve a problem or to create a product. End. Gardner's Theory. Multiple Intelligence.